Well, hello, I'm Dr. Carolyn Rudder, and I'm so thankful for this opportunity to speak with you. I'm a radiation oncologist joining the Benefis Sletten Cancer Institute team, and today we're talking about breast cancer prevention. So I know you have um, signed on to this meeting because you already know what an important issue breast cancer is. And of course, the uh, thing that puts us all uh, at greatest risk for breast cancer is simply having breasts. So this is something that should be on every woman's mind. But the good news is there are many ways that we can actually reduce our own risk of developing breast cancer. So probably the most powerful uh, means we have for reducing our risk is increasing our physical activity level and exercise. So many studies now show that the more we can make regular physical activity and exercise part of our routine, the more we reduce our risk for developing breast cancer or for breast cancer survivors, the more the risk of seeing breast cancer return decreases. There's no um, one perfect exercise regimen or routine uh, that, that does it all, uh, but the American Cancer Society recommends we aim to try to get in two and a half hours a week of moderate physical activity. So things like gardening, housework, walking the dog, those all count or 75 minutes a week of vigorous physical activity. So that would be like three 25 minute workout sessions a week. And I know myself that it can be hard to increase our physical activity levels. So what I want to encourage you to keep in mind is uh, every bit counts and makes a difference. So set goals high, but uh, do what you can and pat yourself on the back that every little bit is helping reduce that risk. Another way we can reduce our risk is by decreasing our alcohol intake. So studies regularly show the more alcohol we drink, the more our breast cancer risk increases. For light and moderate drinking, the increase in risk is not really all that great. So truly, we make our risks the very lowest by not drinking at all. But most experts uh, encourage moderation. So uh, experts will say one drink every other day or every day at most is a very reasonable way to uh, get that breast cancer risk uh, reasonably low. And then another way we can reduce our risk is by not smoking or if we are smoking to be able to quit. Uh, the good news is the sooner we can quit smoking and the longer we go without smoking, the more our risk will drop. So many folks smoke, uh, uh, if you're a smoker, you already know uh, how many health benefits there are uh, to, with quitting. It's very hard to stop, we understand, and we're here to encourage you and, uh, and just keep reminding you to not give up trying. It's, it's not too late, uh, you can do it, and it really makes an important difference. Lastly, where prevention fails, uh, as I'm sure you already know, we have early detection with mammograms and it's been uh, a real encouragement to me to see how many ladies can uh, go through breast cancer treatment and at the end uh, remark that they are surprised at how it was easier than they thought it would be and I tell them it's really to their credit because they caught their breast cancer so early by getting that mammogram and it made their journey much easier than it would have been if their breast cancer had gotten bigger or started to spread before it was caught. So if you're between the ages of 50 and 75, uh, you definitely want to be doing those mammograms at least every other year, if not every year. Between the ages of 40 and 50 or over the age of 75, it's good to talk with your primary care provider about what mammogram schedule is right for you. And that's what I had to share with you today. So thank you so much for listening.